My next guest is, uh, is really a beautiful young lady who at 13 has already achieved an incredible amount of recognition. Uh, Brooke Shields starred in the uh, highly publicized film Pretty Baby. She is currently in Los Angeles filming a new movie called Wanda Nevada, and she, she is the subject of a new book called The Brooke Book. She is quite a fascinating young lady. Would you welcome, please, Miss Brooke Shields. Well, we are here in New York City to see the movie Endless Love and to talk with its director, Mr. Franco Zeffirelli, and the two stars, Brooke Shields and Martin Hewitt. Hi. Hi. I hope you all are doing well today. Uh, Brooke, let, let's start with you. Good. <laughs> uh, you're playing a 15-year-old girl. Jade is her name. Mm -hmm. And you're 15. What, 16? Are you now 16? Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, but in any event, uh, you... <laughs> It is so nice to meet you. Thank you. Thanks. I've seen so many pictures. I was back in New York not too long ago, and I went into Francesco Scavullo's mm -hmm. studio, and he's got these beautiful pictures of you hanging up on the wall. Thank you. I did my first job with him. Did you? How old were you? Eleven months old. Eleven months. Yes. Are starring in a film that uh, you really wouldn't be able to see in, in our market because it's rated R. You, you would have to take your mother or someone, uh, an adult, with you. You believe me how we can get into movies. <laughs> All my friends have IDs. <laughs> exactly, and, and that's the point, is that um, that doesn't stop young people no. from, from going into R-rated movies. They have their ways of getting around that. But uh, what about uh, a baby? You just loaf the first few months of your life, huh? <laughs> I did an ivory snow ad. An ivory snow ad? You, of course, you don't remember the first job you did eleven months, did you? No, I remember, but it's really weird though because when I remember when I walked in, there was like hundreds of screaming little babies. <laughs> and I just remember my mom holding me and just, just looking around to see what was going on. Yeah. What's the first, the real photograph or commercial that you did that you remember really well? Um, I did a commercial. Uh, the movie dealing with a 15-year-old girl's sexual awareness and sexual experiences. Uh, do you think most 15-year-old girls, or 15-year-old boys for that matter, are ready for sexual experiences? I think it's a very individual thing um, because you can't put a, you can't really put a, a, an age on it. You can put legal ages on things, but as far as a mental age, it, that's very difficult. Johnson's baby, sh baby shampoo. Baby shampoo. And I did one also for Johnson's band-aids. Right. And I, I vaguely remember them because I had for Johnson's band-aids I had a cut on one knee, and I was oh. wondering why they were putting the band-aid on the other knee. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You've had, you've had such a remarkable career, um, and you, you photograph. So photographing is is really kind of tough work, isn't it? Is it easy for you? Because I've talked to uh, a lot of gals who will pose for photographers, and they say it's to do so it's a very individual thing um, you know I have my own views and some of my friends have their own views but um, I don't think that there's a certain age to be put on it I think that it's a endless love is a very good film because there I know a lot of teenagers will be able to relate to it and I think it'll help a lot of teenagers as well as adults to be able to see it is Brooke Shields at age 16 or even at when you were 15. 16 in two days. Really a lot of work, but you seem so natural, and every photographer I've talked with has taken your picture, so you just automatically kind of fall into it. Do you, you find it work, or do you find it fun? Well, some, it's both. I mean, it's work, but you have to make it fun. Otherwise, it would, you can't really make it hard work. Otherwise, it, it won't be good. It's no fun if it's right, work, it's really. Right, it's no fun if it's work. What's the film you're working on now? Wanda, Wanda Nevada? Yes, it's called Wanda Nevada. Yeah. And Peter Fonda is in it. Uh -huh. And Henry found us in it also. The double family. Well, <laughs> 16 and 2 days. No, really. is, is Brooke Shields, uh, could Brooke Shields handle a sexual relationship? I don't think so. I don't, first of all, I don't, that's not what I believe in as far as my own self. I, believe, I would like to wait till I get married. And that's something I've always believed I might change my mind if and when I fall in love, which I haven't yet. But, um, I don't think I'm ready at all. I'm not, see, I'm not even ready for something that's smaller than... Not exactly not that. Missing Jane and a few others, right? Mm -hmm. Who, who's your favorite movie star? If you had a chance to meet anybody, who would you like to meet? Well, I really can't say that because I, 
I really like all movie stars. I mean, yeah. there's a movie star, I think, wow, you know, I've got to get her autograph yeah. or his autograph. Did you get Farrah Fawcett's? Uh... Yes, I did. <laughs> yeah. You were? Uh... I had gotten it before. I met her when I was in France, and she signed a poster for me. Yeah. Have you ever seen this show before? Yes, I, I've watched it, but I, I've... And that, that's minor with just, because it's all starting for me now, and I'm, it's, everything is so confusing and so crucial at this moment anyway that I just have to worry about my own other problems. <laughs> are, 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 you, are your decisions about this book based on your religious background? You're Catholic, aren't you? I'm Catholic. That, it doesn't really, it's basically my own personal feelings. Um, I think maybe that the religion could have initiated something, but it's now... It's all right, Brooks. No, it's, uh, I like it. It's, huh? it's good. It's kind of crazy, isn't it? Well, you have to have fun. Yeah. Really up to my own feelings myself. I mean, I do. I am Catholic, and I do go to church, and, and I'm practicing Catholic, but it doesn't, they really are almost, you know, different. You don't feel there's a conflict between your Catholicism and playing this kind of role? Not at all, because, see, there is a, I believe it myself, and I know that whatever I truly believe myself, it really can't be all that wrong if I truly believe in it and trust it.